We just came up on a cranker whitetail shed. I haven't picked it up yet. Uh, I don't know exactly how many points it is, but check this out. We just got suited up here. It's our first nice day. And today, I think I want to get the snowmobile going. Go for a little cruise. We haven't had much snow this year, but it's, it's mid-January. The deer should, some of the bigger bucks can be losing their antlers this time of year. So figure we're just gonna go start up the sled and just go for a little tour. Just go see what's up, see where the deer are feeding, and do a little bit of homework. It's always important to know where the deer are shedding their antlers or where they're feeding, so hopefully we can scoop one up today. All right. Just topping up the two-stroke snowmobile oil here. It's always important to make sure that your fluids are topped up before you go out in an adventure. Personally, I like to run ethanol free, high octane fuel in my snowmobile. Just topping it up here, guys. These lines indicate how full your tank is. Turn the key to the on position, pull the kill switch out, prime it once, fire it up. So the sled is up and going, it's running, we're just letting it warm up. I fueled it, put two, stro two stroke oil in, pulled the plug, checked to see how it was burning, it looked okay, I put it back in, primed it, hit it. Boom, she's running. All right, let's go for a little rip ski. This is a Skidoo Tundra R. So it means that it has reverse. It was manufactured in 1999. So it's a pretty old sled, but super reliable. Only weighing in at 300 pounds, a single cylinder, 300 cc, carbureted motor, no computer, makes it ideal for trapping and being outside in the outdoors. So I just stopped here. Oh, I don't know if you can see them. Some mule deer running there. I wanted to show you this kind of creeping cedar here. That's kind of a staple for mule deer during the winter time. So if you can find this stuff and time it right, you can actually get on some fresh deer antlers. It's a little early yet, but I really like to get out early, double check my spots, look where they've been feeding, 
look where they've been bedding, find the food source, and then just kind of go in between. All right, well, let's get back on with our journey. I just wanted to show you that. Some deer beds and that creeping cedar. All right. to go out for my first shed hunt second shed hunt I guess of the year we just came up on a cranker whitetail shed I haven't picked it up yet um, I don't know exactly how many points it is but check this out look at the size of this thing Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> that could be a PB for me. I don't know, but that is a massive white tail shed. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to scan this area, see if we can match it up, but it's a massive six point shed let's go Woo! <sighs> all right guys so this is the saskatchewan river <sighs> it's frozen up I was the first one to cross it this year. This is something you have to be very careful with. After picking up two sheds, we're heading home now. We have to cross the South Saskatchewan River. It's always kind of sketchy crossing a river that has strong current. Ice conditions can be sketchy at the best of times. So if you're unsure, it's just best not to cross water if you, if you don't have to.